Good morning. We're going to be explaining what the XCP venting system for washers and dryers do a conversion. My name is Daryl Rottenmacher. I'm going to be the technical person explaining how the steps are. First of all, we have two products sitting here on the table. We have for the dryer, this is the 220 volt. Uh, current with the four prong plug. It's also available with the three prong plug. And this gets plugged into the wall, and the dryer plug gets plugged into this socket. That's all there is to an installation. Same now for the washing machines. Identical. We have the uh, seat. Uh, type of 110 volt, which supports uh, the common washing machine commercial. And it simply plugs into this, and the other end plugs into the wall. Now, these are heavy duty 14 gauge to support the load. We have on the side of each of the units a locking mechanism that has a security screw that you are not able to remove unless you have the proper tools to do this. The idea is to be able to secure the power cord on the dryer or the washer so that someone cannot unplug it and plug it in the wall and bypass the system. All right? I'm going to take this up now as an example, and I'm going to carry it over to our roll of washers over here. Which one should we pick? The other one? Okay, this is the easiest one. This is an example of a washer that's currently running as a free. Free meaning you don't need any payment at all. The first step is to unplug. Alright? And the second step is going to be to plug it into the socket right here. And then the last step is to plug it in the wall. Close the cover and lock the power cord with a little locking mechanism. All right? That's all there is to install. It's simply plug and play. Now, from a technical aspect, we have Ed here. He had some questions around that thing in terms of what maintenance he has to do to maintain things. So yeah. we set it in the, the outlet is pumped up, locks it in yeah. with a security screw. It requires a special tool so the normal person doesn't have that type of access to these security screws. So the only way they can get this open is if they go to management or you. You have the steel that you're not able to do. Okay. So in the event this washer goes down within only a couple minutes, you can replace this washer because it's plug and play. You simply unplug what we just done here, and it's ready to go. Okay. And from a management standpoint, you have a few questions on operation. What is the need if, let's say, somebody puts coins in and they don't have, and for whatever reason, they never turned on and so forth, how do I go ahead and be able to just give them a free wash just as a comment, as a courtesy? As the management, you will have on your cell phone what we'll call monopoly money okay. that allows you remotely. You don't have to even come into the laundry room from up to 50 to 75 feet away, you can look on your security camera and you're watching the laundry room anyhow. There's all the machines and you'll see the number one machine that the person was talking about. You can then make payment on that number one machine. If you were able to see all of your machines remotely at any time on your phone too. Okay. So how easy is it for guests to reload uh, money onto their app and to get, you know, so they can start washing and all that. Well, their first step is they go to the cleartoken.com 
website and they download the app, which is the payment. And it'll ask you some basic questions like, do you have an Apple or an Android cell phone? It's gonna ask you whether you want Visa and MasterCard payments. Then it'll ask you how much money do you want to put on it? And at any time you can continue to add money. And you can do this remotely, you can add money. Um, for some reason, let's say, you're going to move out of state. You're not going to use these facilities anymore. You can go to the cleartoken.com and they will put whatever money that's left on your account back on your credit card. And you'll see that right from your cell phone. So you have full communications. And I should add, when you do a wash with the cell phone app, when the wash is complete, you will get a message back on your cell phone to let you know if your wash is complete or your dry is complete. Any other questions about that? Um, how long does, do, do these things sense how long the wash is done or is it done by timer or what have you? It's set by timer. For example, we have a row of five washers here. We check these washers, the minimum time on these washers is 60 minutes. The maximum time that it will go is 80 minutes. So we set the time for 80 minutes plus a few minutes extra. Uh, and this way